A new world discovered beyond Pluto could be pointing to planet X. Astronomers have named this the Goblin. This is on Science and Technology on Curiosity, written by Elizabeth Howell. Of course, this has to do with Carnegie Institute for Science, Roberto Moller Candozo and Scott Shepard have informed us concerning these images. We have the distances from the sun and we also have what they claim to be the orbit of Goblin 2015 TG 387. While searching for evidence of a huge planet looking beyond Pluto's orbit, dubbed Planet 9 or Planet X, astronomers made a surprise in discovering a previously undetected dwarf planet. They've nicknamed it the Goblin, and this little world could help us uncover the secrets of much of the larger Planet 9. They're calling it Planet 9, not to call it Planet X. These are artists' conceptions of the distant solar system Planet 9, which could be shaped, shipping the orbits of smaller, extremely distant outer solar system objects like the Goblin 215 TG 387. This was discovered by a team of Carnegie Scott Shepard, Northern Arizona University Chad Turillo, and the University of Hawaii David Tolan. Now what is Planet 9? In 2016, astronomers hypothesized there must be a roughly Neptune-sized war world far, far away in the solar system because th there is something out there that's perturbing the orbits of nearby space rocks. So they called this the world, this called, they called this new planet, Planet 9. Astronomers all over the Earth are searching for this distant planet so far. Planet 9 remains hidden if there is anything there at all. Something is perturbing the outer uh, uh, rocks, the, the outer uh, planets. So there must be something out there that's big enough to pull them, perturbing them from their orbits. They call it Planet 9, not to call it Planet X. Not to remind us of the Anunnaki and the Sitchin Nibiru. Now, remember, space is a big place and it could take years and years of searching to confirm the existence of such a huge Planet 9, but in the meantime, the quest did find another tiny world in the blackness of space. It's called 215 TG 387, but astronomers were inspired to, by the TG to nickname it the Goblin. The little world is in a remarkable place. It orbits the Sun some 80 times farther away than the Earth is, and it takes a good 40,000 years to complete a single orbit. So putting it this way, the last time the goblin was at this point in its path around the sun, there were still other species of humans on Earth, and they were millennia away from inventing civilization, let alone, alone uh, space telescopes, or even spacecraft. So we're lucky we have spotted this world before its warped orbit sends it even further away from us, uh, where we would not be uh, able to see it that easily. Now, the orbits of the new extreme dwarf planet 215 TG387, the Goblin, and its fellow inner Oort cloud objects, 212VP113 and Sedna, as compared with the rest of the solar system, was nicknamed the Goblin by the discoverers, and its provisional designation contains TG, and the object was first seen near Halloween, 2015 TG387, has a larger semi-major axis than either 212 VP13 or Sedna, which means that it travels much further out from the Sun and its most distant point in the orbit, which is around 2300 AU. AU, 1 AU is the distance from the, sun, the Earth from the Sun. So the evidence now for Planet 9 piles up. And how is the new world relevant to this Planet 9 or this Planet X? Well, astronomers ran some simulations of the Goblin while assuming a neptune size or a super earth sized planet was also out there. And to make this long story short, it looks like if Planet 9 did exist, it actually shepherded the Goblin along its orbit. In fact, Planet 9's gravitational influence might keep a bunch of distant worlds far away from it, which would avoid the chance of a nasty collision. 
And there's where things get really intriguing astronomically. The new discovery of this world is far away from us, but it's not alone in its neighborhood. There are other dwarf planets in that area. One of them is called Sedna, and the other is 212 VP13, 113. These tiny worlds all travel in their own zone, far away from the main mass of our solar system, where all the planets reside as we know them to be, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Now, taken together, the orbits of these dwarf worlds could be a powerful argument that the real thing is out there, namely Planet Nine. This orbital situation, quote, makes them the dwarf worlds immensely interesting, and quote, because they can be used as probes to understand what's happening at the edge of our solar system. This is what the lead author, Scott Shepard of the Carnegie Institute for Science said in his statement. One caveat is the paper on the goblins' discovery has not been published yet in a peer-reviewed journal, which is considered the gold standard of science because other scientists verify the work before publication. Now that being said, the astronomical journal is considered the paper's submission. So let's remember that Shepard and colleagues announced earlier this year again while searching for the elusive planet 9, 12 new moons around the planet Jupiter. So the search for this theoretical planet already bore scientific fruit, fruit and we can't wait to see what happens next. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.